Jesse from Atlantis Coral Aquatics, helping preserve the world's reefs through aquaculture. Today we're going to be putting together one of our do-it-yourself LED kits. This is our standard LED kit. It comes with 12 royal blue, 12 cool white, 3 watt Cree LEDs, heat sink, splash guard, drivers, lenses, all the wiring necessary to assemble the LEDs, thermal grease and thermal adhesive, fan for cooling the heat sink, and a hanging kit for hanging it neatly above your tank. Getting started, you're going to want to test all 24 LEDs. Uh, here we're going to test the, the royal blue first and the cool white. You're going to want to test all 24 uh, prior to attaching the lenses. Uh, some, we test them all before they ship out, but sometimes things happen and, and the LED might break during transit and can't control the shippers. Once you've tested the LED and, and you know that it works properly, it's time to attach the lens. The lens fits right over the LED chip. Press the lens down firmly once you've aligned it over the LED. Um, this allows you to adhere the lens to the LED. You're going to want to mix the two-part adhesive. It's a part A, part B. It's a 50-50 mix. I use a small piece of cardboard or something uh, to mix them on. Once you have both parts of the adhesive on the cardboard, 50-50 like I said, you're going to want to mix it with the stir for about five seconds. Stir also acts as an applicator, so you take the applicator now and apply the adhesive to the lens on two sides. Allow the adhesive to dry for about 15 minutes. Once you've glued all your lenses onto your LEDs, it's time to place them on the heatsink. There's a few different ways you can place them on there. Um, I just decided to go with an alternating pattern of blue and white. Uh, the key thing is to make sure that they're aligned properly for wiring. Um, if you look at the LED itself, there's a positive and negative sign on it. You're going to wire them positive and negative, positive and negative, and so on. So when you set up your LEDs on the heatsink, you want to line them up so it's an alternating sequence. You can apply a dab of thermal adhesive to the LEDs. Just a little bit will do the trick. It spreads out when you screw them down. Place the LED firmly on the heatsink. Um, align the notches to the holes for the screws. You're gonna screw the LEDs down to the heatsink. You're gonna repeat this for all the LEDs. Uh, we did the blue sequence first to ensure that we wired all the blues to blues. And then the next thing to do is the whites. Once you've secured all the LEDs to the heatsink, it's time to wire them up. You just follow that positive negative sequence with the pre cut uh, solderless wire, just slide it right into the plug. Alright, the key thing to make your LED string work is you have to put in the plug at the very, on the very last LED. Once you got them wired up, it's time to plug them in and test them. I'm going to repeat the exact same sequence for the whites. Once you've wired and tested all the LEDs, um, slide on the, the splash guard. You gotta be very careful when sliding on the splash guard. You don't want any wires to get caught, and you also wanna make sure that you don't put any wires over top of the lenses um, when you're sliding it on. Once you get it slid on, they're gonna stay where they are. After wiring the LEDs, test them by plugging in the driver. Um, 
I always find it best to plug the driver into the LEDs and then plug the driver into the AC power source. Testing the lights uh, in this manner prior to setting up the fixture ensures that you have your lights wired properly. You can correct any mistakes you may have made. Use the T-slots on top of the heatsink to attach the fan. Again, test the fan prior to setting up the, the light over your tank to ensure that it works properly so you don't have to disassemble anything. Attach the Y-shaped hanging kit in a similar manner. 